Hi, my name is Janina and I'm a fiber artist and crochet business owner. Well, that sounds way too serious. Actually, I'm just another girl crocheting plushies. Here on YouTube, I'm taking you with me on my day-to-day -day life of my journey of creating new plushies, pattern designing, my social media and my Etsy shop. And of course, my normal life cannot be missing like me watering my plants and fulfilling my daily chores like you see me doing right now. I love sharing my life in video form with fellow crocheters who just want to have someone to hang out with while crocheting because that's what I also love to do. So if you're one of those people and maybe just found my channel, you're on the right place and welcome to this week's vlog. So you've been popping into my Sunday and you see me watering my plants and cleaning the bathroom so far. And today's plan, as the chores are finished already and as it's going to be super hot, is to visit my mom's again and to go to the pool. And for that I also prepared a little bag with all of my crocheting stuff because I want to crochet something. Because yesterday, and I didn't film it, but I crocheted something new. And it's a pumpkin cat! I wanted to make Halloween cats and this is the first one. This is a pumpkin cat. I really love her. She's super cute and super chubby. I mean, look at her freaking cute belly. She's eaten a little bit too much, <laughs> but no, uh, that's exactly how I wanted her to be. Um, this is the little cat. I really, 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 really love how she turned out. And I wanted to crochet a Frankenstein cat as well and a ghost cat. And I will crochet the ghost cat later at the pool because I don't have enough yarn of the green that I want to use for the Frankenstein cat. I ordered it. It will come at the beginning of the week, I feel like. So today I will crochet the ghost cat and this will be a bundle of three. I'm so excited for this pattern. It's so, 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 so cute. I really love it. And yeah, um, I will now grab my boyfriend, sit on the bike and go somewhere where it's not as hot as in here. The next thing I actually did was making myself a banana milk matcha, which is so delicious. It's actually one banana with oat milk and that mixed together with matcha is just so, so delicious. It's way better than to sweeten it with vanilla syrup or like banana syrup, just because it's like way more healthy, I feel like, because it's not that sugary. And then we drove with our bikes to the neighbor village where my mother lives and where I lived for my whole childhood. And when we were there, I immediately started to crocheting on my ghost cat, which will be like the second cat after the pumpkin cat in the Halloween bundle. And I crocheted this with Yarn Art Dolce in like cream white and I love this yarn. It's so, 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 so super soft and so slippery. And oh, do you have the same problem with like safety eyes? I feel like every crocheter has this. It's so, 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 so hard to get it in there, but I managed to do it. <laughs> and. Also, I hate embroidery. I don't know about you guys, but embroidery is so hard for me. I'm so bad at it, but I managed to do it and now she's finished. I just love her and her head is like the ghost and she even got to chill in the pool as well. And I started with my Frankenstein cat as well already um, as like as far as I got because there my yarn was empty. So I lost yarn chicken. Of course, I need to get the legs done later. But yeah, now they are both nearly finished and to sum up this amazing day, we ate something nice and it just was so delicious. By the way, it was like salmon noodles. This is my cat, by the way, who lives with my mom still and we played some card games and yeah, just look at this cute cat. <laughs> had to get my matcha because why else would I have made it if not to get properly awake for what my next task is by the way super delicious it's 
um, a matcha iced latte with pistachio cream and I love pistachio cream so you've seen it I just popped some pistachio cream into the hot water which made it melt immediately so now it just has like a little pistachio taste which is amazing today is release day of my love cat pattern so I will sit down now and we'll work on the testers feedback and incorporate it as soon as that is finished. I will send out the finished pattern to the testers and we'll prepare the listing on Etsy so that it can go live tonight. Time with this will take me about 45 minutes because I have like a nice routine figured out for myself and when I'm working concentrated, I can get it done in under an hour, which is amazing. <laughs> so let's get to work. So for patterns, I'm working on my iPad with an Apple Pencil. It's a pretty old iPad and I'm working with Procreate. So this is usually an app for illustrators, but I love working on that with my patterns. And what I usually like to do is having a split screen with my notes, where I have all the screenshots that I made with all the testers corrections. And here it is misspelled the word through, which is so embarrassing, <laughs> but well, stuff like this happens. So I'm just correcting it. And after correcting it, I immediately delete the screenshot so that I can work on the next one. And this is usually how I go about correcting my patterns after testers phase so I'm finished with preparing the release they are now ready to be released and I just quickly wanted to show you again those are the loaf cats I think they are stackable in so many cute ways they are stackable like this like a little pyramid <laughs> then they are of course stackable like this or they just fall down and now I have to like rearrange my couch to get them again. Well, this could happen as well. I mean, why not? Why not? Mm. Oh no, it fell like under the couch. I hate, hate my life. Okay, no, I'm not, I'm not hating my life. Grateful for everything I got. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go up again. Oh my God. get the boobies right again otherwise they're coming out what I wanted to say is you can stack them like this as well and they are super cute and this is how they look from up top oopsie like this they're super round they're super chunky they're the cutest and I know I told you thoroughly about them in the last vlog but I just quickly want to tell you again I hope you don't mind. So this is my matcha cat, and I just drank my matcha, so my favorite drink at the moment. This is my hot chocolate loaf cat, and this is my vanilla chai loaf cat, because I thought, why not name them like drinks? Because that's just super cute. So tell me what your favorite drink at the moment is. Is it chai latte, hot chocolate, or matcha? And tell me in the comments and make your own loaf cat. And I quickly read through all the feedback again in, in the group chat. And I just want to share a few of them to show you how precious it is to get your pattern tested and to get feedback, initial feedback before the pattern is out there of testers. And you get like a vibe of how people would feel about your pattern if they bought it. So I'll just quickly read you four of them so that you get, can get a sense how super thankful I feel each time I get feedback like this. So Wildstone Crafts writes, I'm obsessed with this cat, it's precious. Great photos and instructions, super easy and it's such a fast kitty to make. I'm getting my photos done, so I'll send them as soon as I can, amazing job. Very well written pattern as always. Thank you so much. So cool to read feedback like this. Astrid Plus writes, I made mine with my favorite lavender color. I love the pattern, it was so easy to follow. I think it's great for markets too and I will definitely use it again with lots of different colors. Amanda writes, here are my loaf cats. Thank you for the opportunity to test your pattern. It was super quick and easy to follow. I really enjoyed it. Looking forward to making many more for my affairs. It is market prep friendly. <laughs> and Elisa writes, here are my loaf cats. The pattern was super fast and easy to make and I'm looking forward for making lots of these adorable cats for market prep. Thank you so much for the opportunity. All your patterns are amazing. Thank you so much. It's really, it's so precious to read that. 
So as we're all good to go now for the release, I can release it now and the pattern will be available as you see this. So if you want to make your own loaf cat, shameless plug here, you can do so. Oh, that's the wrong way around. You can do so, I will link the pattern down below. Or if you want to join my patron, my second tier, the double crochet tier, got the loaf cat pattern in August for free. So it's a free pattern on my page and for the double crochet here as well, if you wanna check my patron out, another shameless plug here. So if you wanna check out my patron as well, I will link it down in the description box. And I'm now going to enjoy the rest of my day. We're going to eat out now, yay. spontaneously decided to make a bucket hat this evening and here I'm just picking out colors which was so so hard. I have all this yarn for my Stardew Valley cardigan which I'm crocheting at the moment as well. I have so many whips oh my god. And I eventually decided to use white, pink and a light sage green for my cute bucket hat and it was honestly so fast to make only took me like two hours and here it is and it's looking so 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 cute good morning it's the next morning as you could see i spontaneously decided to crochet a bucket hat well it's it doesn't matter how i'm wearing it right this is how it looks the thing is i look stupid with hats like it doesn't matter which hat i'm wearing i'm looking stupid but yeah it looks cute I feel like it could be cuter if I would have crocheted a bucket head with granny squares instead of like this egg shaped thingy. And I feel like there are people that would fit better into this one. So maybe I will crochet another one and will give this to someone or I don't know, <laughs> set it to one of my Instagram followers maybe. I mean, it's super cute. It's I don't know, I really love this bucket head. It's really, it looks so good, but yes, I don't know if it fits my head. So we'll see about that. I will show you if I decide to make another one. So I obviously decided to crochet another bucket head. I mean, it's just three more hours of my life, right? And I decided to crochet this daisy granny square bucket head because look at this. It's just so much more fitting my skin tone. And yeah, I just should have gone with neutral colors right away, but yeah, that's how we learn, right? So yeah, I just started to crochet and I used this super cute lemony yellow I love this shade it's from Paris drops the cotton yarn and I'm just too lazy to weave an end so I'm just knotting the ends and cutting them off and hoping for the best so that like the yarn ends won't unweave again and this hat actually needs to be sewn together and I will link the pattern down in the description box below for you guys. And actually the sewing part was so calming for me. I don't know why. <laughs> Usually I hate sewing. But this was quite nice. And this is how it looks without the rim. It looks pretty ridiculous. But here I have it finished and I'm so glad how it looks. It looks so, so super cute, I feel like. Okay, you guys. So I finished my second bucket head. Here it is. And I love it. I really love it. I wanted to make super cute colors with this one <sighs> because it's like the era of cute things of like pink and green and like colorful. But I feel like I'm just not that girl and this color scheme just fits my skin tone way better. So let's see again. This one was my first one and I feel like it's cute, but it doesn't fit my head as good this pattern is from this person i will link it here and i will link it in the description down below as well and this pattern is i freehanded those 
daisy squares myself well i i just knew how to do them and then i followed a tutorial that she also shows how to do the daisy squares so just follow this one person's tutorial i will link it down below as well um this is how i made this one and it just fits my head so much better this one is a little bit smaller this one here fits my head pretty well i feel like and it's like because of those granny squares it has like this cut here and it's like not that round it's larger so it i don't know it just looks cuter i feel like still i don't have a head head but you know when the sun is shining you need to protect your brain <laughs> No, like your head and your um, heads, like the skin on your head and yeah, I don't know. Now I have a cute crocheted bucket head. Let me know in the comments if you like and if you would love to do that. Oh, this one took me a bit less time. I feel like I'm, I needed like two hours for this one and like three hours for this one. I don't know, maybe like it's a time estimation. But all in all, both of them are so quick to make. Down the drain 